This is a video of my 2006 Porsche Cayman S. I'll do a walk around of the tire car here and uh, then we'll go inside. It has a clear bra on the front and uh, it wraps around the whole front bumper. Goes up to about here, I think you can see that line. And then it goes halfway across the hood here. Uh, no blemishes in the front at all, especially uh, with the clear bumper. The the silver lip on the bottom is also really clean. Um, you can see there. Car could use a wash. It is a little bit dirty. Been sitting in the garage and has uh, a little bit of dust on it. But other than that, there is no uh, blemishes here. Really anywhere on the exterior. But I'll go around. Then let's take a look at the passenger front wheel here. Go all the way around. These are 19s. And the one negative, only negative, is that the tires will need replacing soon, I'd say in the next couple thousand miles. I just do front and rear to get them all matching myself, but um, fronts are a little bit better than the rears. The mirror also has protector on it. You can see it kind of ends there. So, go again on the side here. I'll just go out. And uh, we'll go down. Look at the back there. There's a protector here as well. You can see where the wax line is. So that one's highlighted for you. Here's the rear passenger wheel. You can see there's no curb rash or anything. They're basically perfect. And here's the rear. See a little spot right here? Just looks like a little bit of tree sap. I'll go wash that off. And here's a piece of dust. the bottom part. No scuffs or anything from bottoming it out. Here's the trunk lid. And while I'm here, I might as well open up the trunk so we can see inside. Uh, I don't think I use this, but maybe once or twice. The front's actually got quite a bit more room in it. We'll take a look at that in a second. And again, we'll continue just going. Across the car again. There's no real wear anywhere on this car. Here's again, the, this is the driver's side. Rear wheel, no curb marks, no anything. And then go out the side here. Let's go driver's side. Go. The protector is also on this side here. It's really low for you. The sun is starting to come out, so. This is just reflection from the sun. <laughs> and that's pretty much all around the car. Let's get this rim so you can see it. Again, no curb marks or anything on that wheel. And these are actually just little like uh, steel uh, wheel caps. There are steel valve caps there. So that's why they look kind of odd. Here, let me pop the front here, and then we'll get inside. Let's see here. Uh, 
And there's that. Again, just a little dusty. But everything is in good shape. The navigation disc goes in there and all that. So we'll close that up. Now let's take a look inside. Oh, and I didn't point this mirror out here. There's a protector right there. It ends. So inside, the carpet, even on the back wall here, things basically again perfect. It's hard to see with the sun reflection, but it says Cayman S right here. Go in here. The vacuum or the carpeting could obviously use some vacuum, but underneath it all, perfect. Never ever drove in here myself with taking those out or anything of the sort. But there's the pedals. Then uh, here's the dash. Let me go on the passenger side and uh, let's look at that. And there's the passenger side. And same thing here. This is just a cord. That cord is for my cell phone. <laughs> so, nothing hanging around loose. And this is really very clean over on this side. Again, use some vacuuming back there where people's feet were. That's where the uh, power adapter is. The bolsters on the side seat, I'll kind of go in on those. There's no wear on the passenger. And not really any on the drivers either. There's the seat. And look, we'll go in the middle console here. Go all the way around. Right here, this cord right here is for an iPod hookup. That was installed, uh, I believe, at a dealer. And it's from a company made or called Denshin. And you can hook your iPod in there. As well as... In here you see there's cables that come out and that will feed just like a regular cell phone or or any any sort of mp3 player or anything. There's the original booklets and everything. And you can unplug all that. That doesn't have to that doesn't have to do anything. You can unplug it, shut it off, do whatever you like with it. That's just if you want to hook up something external. And let's go in the driver's seat now, power everything on and Besides taking it out of the uh, garage, it hasn't been warmed up or anything. And it's been probably a week and a half since I've driven it, so we'll see how it starts up. There's a sport chrono clock. Let's, let's just turn the key really quick so you can see the power turn on everywhere. That's the nav screen. It does have navigation. These three buttons. I think this is for the spoiler. I've never really used that one. That's a sport mode, which just makes the throttle a little sharper. And uh, this one, I believe, is for traction. Haven't really used that. Heated seats right here. And yeah, let me get to the navigation screen here. Let me just see if I can get it. Is there a map? Here we go, map. And there's navigation, so you can see it does have navigation. Go back here, and I'll start it up. Okay. So, the motor is right back here, so once I drive it here, if I become a little quieter, uh, it's very normal so put it in gear here and let's just take a quick drive I apologize for the video quality it doesn't look all that clear I'm in second gear right now and uh, wait till it warms up just a little bit here to give it a little bit of gas. Um, 
put my seatbelt on to stop that. All right, now that that's gone, only going 20 miles an hour or so here, but you can hear it when you open it up. It really does give a really nice noise. I'm just in my neighborhood, so I uh, don't really want to... Uh, go too fast but the I drove it on the highway myself since I owned it basically most of the miles I put on it were 25 miles one way 25 miles coming back and uh, the everything shifts excellent the gearbox it's really something else if you haven't shifted a, a Porsche but the the gearbox shifts great and there's some of the noise right there that's about as fast as I'll go here and now I'll put it in fourth gear. You can see it's in fourth. And it still has really good pickup if I want to step on that a little bit, but go past the golf cart here. And that's basically it. If you have any other questions, uh, please just feel free to email me or contact me. If I'm sending you this video, you should have my contact information. And I believe I forgot to show you the bolsters on the uh, the bolsters on the driver's side. Let me get out and show you that really quickly. There's everything. It's warming up a little bit now, but let me just show you really quick. Here's the driver's side, and here's the bolster that you would expect to be pretty worn, and it's it's really great. The only thing I see is maybe a little bit of. Uh, Greasing in the leather right there, but it's, I mean, it looks pretty normal. Here's the seat where, again, very, very, very good. Car only does have 20,000 miles, but depending on the type of person sitting in the seat, you could expect it to be better or worse. So, steering wheel, if I didn't get that already. And that's it. Again, if you request any more pictures, please let me know.